Hey folks, Machine Repeat here, more from the 2019 Farm Progress Show. Really excited about this stop. I was supposed to visit with our friends at Shoop uh, last year, I think at the Louisville Farm Show, and my flight got canceled, it didn't work out. But we're here today, and we have Elizabeth Freitag, Marketing Director, on the right, and Tyler Schaumburg. Yep. Tyler, you are in the sale, sales yes. end of things? Yep, that's correct. With Shoop? Okay, well thank you guys for, for having me out. Um, and yeah, tell me about, uh, I, I understand we have some exciting news we should maybe yeah. lead with here. Yeah, absolutely. A special so, sale. Um, next week is the first time we're offering a fall promotion. Um, it's 10% off the first 168 pages of that fall catalog. So typically you find our promotions surrounding the National Farm Machinery Show. Uh, this year we are proud to introduce a, a sale for, for um, harvest time. So wow. we're getting ready to kick that off next week. It'll run the 3rd through the 7th and it's um, you know on the phone and on the website. So okay. whatever's easier for the customer, you know we're happy to take their order either way. 10% off September 3rd through the 7th. Yeah. Okay, let me zoom in here. Tyler's yeah. got a great little info sheet here. Yep. And the website again is right here down at the bottom, shootparts.com. Shootparts.com. Right. Yep. Okay. Well, Elizabeth, can you grab one of the catalogs? Yeah. Um, of course, very iconic catalog here and again the company goes back to when did it start like late 70s guys yeah 1977 okay and let's look at the catalog today how many pages are we talking about here we are operating out of a 394 page master catalog so you'll okay. find both fall and spring parts in this catalog we yeah. send it out twice a year um, you know right around January and then again um, for the 4th of July you know that holiday area um, and then lose your catalog, anything like that, never have gotten one, you can sign up on our website too. We'll mail it out to you within the next few business days. Okay. Always well, the time to get it. I gotta tell you guys, we've been filming for our TV show, interviewing people, and I've seen your catalogs yeah. Like, yeah. all over the country. People like, it's like the Bible, they don't throw them away. They, no. they, they don't, they, need they have them. copies for They forever. hang on to them and they get a few copies, yeah. Yeah, I know people <laughs> call and talk to Tyler, like, well, I'm looking at my 2007 catalog. And, <laughs> right. You know, a lot of the parts are the same, the page numbers are a little bit different, so we gotta jump around a bit, but um, there's also a PDF catalog on the website, which is really easy to use if you're technologically savvy, you know, kind of thumb through that. Search for different keywords and it'll pull it right up if you aren't sure of the page yeah. number. That's available for download. I was too. curious about that, that you do have a keyword search out there, the, whatever you're after that specific thing you're looking for, you can kind of zero in and find it quick. Yeah, absolutely. The website does that as well as that PDF catalog. So, and you'll find that on the home page of our website. Awesome. And now, uh, Shoot is located, the home office is where? We're in Kankakee, Illinois. In Kankakee, yep. Illinois. Yep, so okay. about 60 miles south of Chicago, right between Chicago and Champaign. Okay. And boy, the company has really grown over the years. Yeah. Uh, I was very interested, we were visiting here before we started the video, guys. Uh, Shoot, really involved with young people in agriculture. Yes. Getting them involved with the company. And, what, and Tyler, you actually started working right out of high school. Why don't yep, you tell us that, about that? That's correct. Yeah, so I started uh, right out of high school working in the warehouse. Um, I was working there for about a year when I was approached uh, by the owners of the company. Um, and they asked if I was interested in becoming uh, in sales and customer service. Uh, so I was, and I, they asked me to go get an ag degree. So I decided to go to right. Juliet Junior College where I got my ag business degree. And I returned and started working for Shoot full time in uh, 2014. Okay. And how did you get to be on the sales side of things then? Uh, I am actually from uh, an ag family. My, my uh, family farm is back home. Uh, so I, they knew I had an ag background um, and I loved working for the company so I knew I wanted to stick with them um, and they decided sales was a good place for me. Right. Well now Elizabeth, we're going to talk a little bit about, I know there's a kind of a, it's more than a phrase, but it, we are Shoop. Yeah. You know, what makes Shoop different and better and just what gives it that vibe that wherever I go people love you guys? What What is it all about? <laughs> well, I'm glad you say that. So we are Shoop, it's, you know, it's that family mentality, you know, back at the, you know, back at the office, you know, it's, even though we're growing, we still have that old school mindset, you know, doing right by people, taking care of our customers, doing whatever it takes to get the job done for them. You know, we know more times than not, the customers are calling us, they're broken down. Um, they needed their parts yesterday. Um, so making sure that they can get them as soon as possible for us is, is what is the utmost importance. Sometimes they call in, they have questions. Um, our staff, most of them farm themselves. And so they're quite knowledgeable in equipment. They've experienced these breakdowns too. Um, 
Um, so it's nice that they can sympathize as well. You know, they've been there. Um, so that's the main part of We Are Shoot, working directly with that end user and that farmer. Um, but also we're really into promoting youth and ag. Um, you know, sustaining that growth in agriculture, hoping and, you know, trying to promote in any ways that we can through scholarships, internships, to get more young people involved in ag. That's awesome. Um, we support Joliet Junior College. We have a, a scholarship with them. Also at our local Key Community College, we offer a scholarship. We have great internship opportunities, local FFAs, um, you know, whatever it takes to really keep the youth involved is what we look to do. And that's really what the We Are Shoot is about. It's about, you know, working together with the ag community as a whole to make sure that we can continue our growth um, as a community itself. Right. And uh, an American company here in rural America, employing people and giving back to youth, that, that's fantastic. I love it. And uh, I understand that Joliet, uh, that's quite an egg program there, Tyler. Is that Yes, yes. Kind of well known, isn't it? Yes, it's uh, very well known in the state, in our area around here especially. Um, very, very good ag program there. The, the, the staff there uh, at Julia Jr. is... They're second to none. Second to none. I mean, they're awesome. Yeah, awesome. they're great. So what are you guys uh, here in 2019, obviously, you know, again, continuing challenging time in egg. What are you guys seeing on the parts end of the, the world here? Has it been an active time? Uh, people uh, trying uh, to get that machine to run a little longer? Yep, yep. They're trying to get their machinery to run a little bit longer here right now, uh, especially with prices and the way they are right sure. now. Um, they're looking to hang on to their equipment as long as they can, fix what they have at the moment. So. Now, I'm also intrigued with a, a company, you know, with such a historic, uh, you know, catalog presence. And then, of course, the internet comes along, but you guys have transitioned out there in a very vibrant website there. Uh, what are you finding? Is it just is it based on the age of the customer, or are they, or is it even split between the catalog and the online? Or I would say it's definitely split. Um, you're getting that younger generation that's starting to take over the farms, or or even just starting out possibly um, that prefer the internet. That's what they're maybe a little bit more comfortable with sure. going to our website. Uh, but you are getting those people that would rather talk to someone directly, um, or maybe have questions about a certain part or how a part would fit, or just in the end would rather talk to somebody actually with a friend right. and place it online. I was and also intrigued by that aspect of you guys' business. The, you know, online is awesome and everything, and, yeah. but you guys are retaining a personal element yep. to the business, almost a relationship with the customer. Yes. Where, and that's something we want to lose. Yeah. So how, how are you able to do that in this digital age to still have where people call and kind of come to rely on you guys for almost advice on certain things? Uh, I might be biased, it? but I think it's our customer service agents. They're yeah. they're phenomenal. It's not any cold calling or anything like that. Um, these are guys, like I mentioned earlier, they have hands-on knowledge in the field, and so they can offer a level of expertise that you know some others can't because they've been there, done that kind of thing. Passion and confident in their yeah. answers. So um, you know, and, and just I think sometimes still even being able to talk it out and kind of explain what the problem is, um, especially we see it you know when it's new to them equipment. Maybe they purchase yeah. it at auction and they're not really familiar with it, or it's things that haven't been replaced in a long time, right. and so the serial numbers are gone, they have no idea what it is. Um, our staff's really great at, at stepping them through, and if it takes 20 minutes, it takes 20 minutes. Um, right. we're, we're there for them. Tyler, you're seeing that in terms of the relationship with the customers. Uh, being there for them, that's kind of a little bit of the secret sauce for Shoop. Yep, absolutely. As long as you're there for them, if they show up with a question, uh, they they really want us to be able to answer it for them, and we, and we do. I mean, we try and do everything we can. We'll go the extra step if we have to call them back later to answer a question or do a little more research into something. We'll do whatever we can uh, to get an answer for them or to get a certain part for them. And uh, I've got the vibe to it. I've seen on discussion boards some of the very vibrant egg chat boards we all love out there. A lot of people speak kind of glowingly about you guys, the customer service angle. Um, let's talk about that. I mean, uh, how do you get your employees to approach their job that way where they have ownership of it? It, so it 10, 10 o'clock at night, they're answering questions? And uh, you know, there are some of us, we always joke that there are, there are a great handful of us that we lead shoot. It's just something, the culture is so great in the office and with the management team. Uh, you know, it helps that management, they started in the warehouse too. And so they've experienced it, they've been there, done that kind of sort of thing. Um, they understand what it takes to get the job done. So there's a great appreciation for every employee who works there. Um, it doesn't matter if you're packing boxes, if you're selling parts, if you're working in marketing, whatever the case may be. Um, um, you know that you're appreciated and I think that that does a lot for us for buy-in um, we have you know warehouse employees that have been here for you know going on 30 years we have guys that are just starting out of high school and the level of excitement is the same across the board um, it's really great too I think to have that veteran presence 
because um, they can say, yeah, hey, this company really does take care right. of you. Um, they really do care about you and your family. Um, I think that's what really yeah. sets us apart is it's not just you as the person, but you know, we care about the families of our employees. We know that you know we support a lot of families and doing what we do, and we're grateful for the customers that can help us do that. And you guys were um, describing too that you both like to hop back into the warehouse too when things get, oh, yeah. which yes. now again, so that there's no, it doesn't seem like there's any silos in your business. I mean, it's, everyone is, is jumping in to do what you got to do. Yeah, 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 absolutely. During that busy season, especially when we first ran that, that original promo um, for the National Farm Machinery Show back in February, it gets extremely busy. I mean, yeah, what was that like in the in the warehouse uh, when that special ran? It, it's it's never ending. But it's so exciting. <laughs> but, but I don't. I mean, I don't mind at the end of the day at five o'clock when our phone shut off. I don't mind going back to the warehouse and working. Uh, it brings me back to my roots, how I originally got started with the company. So I really do enjoy that time of being able to go back there and uh, doing what I always used to do. So it's always kind of fun to tease the younger employees that you know yeah. are still in high school. It's like, well, we can we can still do this. Come on, like, keep up. You know. And it's, some and good that, ribbing is, is always fun. So. Fantastic. And what, what excites you guys about the future? Uh, again, we're in a rapidly changing world here, but you're serving customers and hey, what, what gets you guys going for 2020 and beyond? Uh, what I like to see is the new parts that we're getting, uh, traveling to these new farm shows, meeting the different farmers in the different areas, um, getting into Canada, meeting the farmers up there. Uh, we talked a little bit ago about air seeders. Um, yeah. I'm getting interested more and more in air seeders, whereas in our area, I don't know a whole lot about them. So it's uh, definitely interesting to see us grow in different fields. So let's talk about that shoe footprint because they're kind of there's kind of nowhere where you guys don't sell. Now. Right. Is that correct? If yeah. there's a customer, we'll sell. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So we're going into Canada. Uh, we do go into South America some. New Zealand, a big customer of mine recently has been Australia. Uh, I've been sending quite a few parts to Australia as well. I gotta say, I, I don't know anything about used values in Australia. I, I might have to lean on you for help on that one. Well, used values on equipment, I'm not entirely sure what that's going to be, but I do know uh, with my Australian customers, uh, they're not afraid to, to build their own equipment, build their own planters. Right. They'll get an older school bar, uh, and they'll buy row units directly from us, and they will rebuild and make their own planters. So there again, you're just you're meeting the customer where they are and helping them do what they got to do. Exactly. Yes. All right. Well, guys, let's focus in on this special again. Yeah. Elizabeth, yeah. it's uh, it's this Tuesday. Yep. So Tuesday after Labor Day through Saturday, okay. um, you'll get 10% off the first 168 pages of that fall 2019 catalog. So that's going to cover pretty much everything you should need for harvest. Um, you know, corn head, combine tillage, platform. Um, if it's in those first 168 pages, you'll see a 10% off that, that list price. So. Well, when uh, times are challenging in ag, hats off to Shoop again for uh, helping the American farmer out there and farmers worldwide for savings. And thank you guys for doing what you do. And uh, now if they want to get the catalog, Elizabeth, what's the best route to do that? Go to our website. Um, there's a spot on there you can request a catalog. If they're looking for the PDF, like I said, it's on that home page. Um, also, if you know, don't have access to the internet, um, stop by the booth um, at any farm show. We've got plenty of catalogs or um, just call in and request one. We've got a, a great gal there that'll, that'll take care of it, make sure it goes out that day. So. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. Thank you for having me out. And I'll All just right. pan around here and get the uh, the familiar logo and shootparts.com. Check it out, folks. Good people giving you the parts you need to keep you running. Ram Trucks, premier vehicle of Machinery Pete TV.